Diamond Cut Graphics. Jeff, you came through once again. Thank you, buddy. Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Never impressive. But never duplicated. Duplicated. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Right here you can see I got a little bit of an unboxing or unbagging to do. And once again, I have to thank Jeff Lee over at Diamond Cut Graphics for coming through once again for a decal that I need very badly that I really couldn't find. At least not one that was a water slide. So I'm going to open this up very carefully because I don't know where... Everything is located in this package, so I don't want to cut into cut into everything. So let's see what we got here. All right, so we got the Sterling. We got the Sterling, and we got the Axis. He's giving me two of the Axis in white. They're both the same. And then the little Sterling logo here. Not very big at all, is it? Pretty small. Real small. That's all right. That's perfect. I gave him a carbon copy of a picture of the Sterling headstock. And uh, basically told him that, you know, the picture is the exact size of the headstock. It has not been scaled down or scaled up at all. So you would be able to go off of that for the... Um, the decal and it worked out perfect so I'm going to end up putting that on and then get this uh, this next started as far as getting it done frets are installed I have not leveled or crowned them yet or polished them the ends are done it's still a little bit sharp because all I did was go over with the angle file I have not gone over it with the edge file to knock down the corners of it but yeah, you can see it came out pretty nice got a little dust on here and that came out really good. So now it's time to work on this part so I can get this part done and then get my holes drilled out for the tuners and uh, yeah, put the neck on the body. That's all I really have to do next and uh, start wiring everything up. All right, so let me get my glasses. Get to clean them up a little bit. Turn on my overhead LED light and get down to business over here as far as putting on this decal now I need to locate which is not going to be easy because I covered the holes up a piece of fuzz in there I don't want to trap that inside there and I don't want to drill out these holes and I don't want to put too much tape on them so here are the holes on the back so I have I know exactly where to drill them out when I go ahead and finish up the epoxy and everything else and I can kind of see one, two, three, four. I can kind of see them right here. And these ones, not so much. I can see one here and one here, maybe one there. So what I want to do is use the blue tape, painter's tape, because it's not as sticky as the green tape is. And I want to slice this down to make a couple of strips thin strips this way when I go to peel this off it's not going to pull up a lot or any of the dye or wood so I can see this one here pretty good it's kind of like a little bit of a shadow there so I'll go ahead and mark that one if I get this in the light the right way see the bottom of that one all right so that's that one there there's where the edges of all the uh, holes are let's get to the other side now now I can kind of see I believe I can kind of see the one here okay I see them I see them now All right, so that worked out pretty good. Now I want to locate center of the headstock. Between these lines, I'm gonna locate center. So 
let's see here. This would probably be better. Alright, so it starts right now. I got a sheet, my paper that I printed up for uh, for Jeff. Alright, so that's that. Let's see here. Give me one of these washers. The edge of the hole is there. I'll put that there. That's where the edge of the hole is. On this side. Get another one here. hole is on this side right there all right so it gives me a roundabout of where I got to go now it starts at the second one so let's transfer this to the second one all right so those are my two this thing put on. First thing I want to do is flatten this out to where making sure that the decal sticks to the plastic clear. So when I peel it off the backing it's not going to Stick to the backing. Ah, oh, beautiful, perfect. And I also want to get I like to use these razor knives for doing detail like this. The razor knife right on the edge like this. I have some flexibility here. So kind of ends right about there. See how close that L is to the washer. It's more like under the eye. She's pretty straight. And get rid of those. Now it doesn't have by Music Man. Jeff said that it would be really hard to get those smaller letters. So I just had him do the sterling and then the access. Push that down, make sure that it is going to stick really good. I take my razor knife and get one in the corner of the plastic and peel this up real slow. Beautiful, beautiful. So sterling is back on there. Now for the access part. And again, I want to make sure that this is going to stay on here. So 
So basically what I do, what I'm doing is sometimes with some of these decals, and I've even seen it with other stickers as well, is when you peel like window stickers, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you would call them. When you peel off the backing, sometimes the decal will stick to the backing and not stick to the plastic that's on the face of it, which is supposed to stick to that. So what I end up doing is kind of smooshing it into it a little bit. So when I peel the backing off, everything comes right off onto the backing or the uh, clear part of it instead of instead of coming off onto the uh, paper backing. So this one's not really too much of a no-brainer. I need one washer right here and another washer right here. And that's going to give me my roundabout. It's pretty much straight as far as applying this. Down there. Okay, so I have to remove this stripe. Because the washer goes right, the A is kind of right behind the washer. There's not a lot of adhesive on this clear not that big of a deal. I want this to be pretty much even and pretty much straight. Flatten it out so the, the adhesive on the decal sticks really good to the headstock. Go ahead and peel this up slowly. Go ahead and remove that. I don't need that no more. Don't need that washer no more. Come on, get off my finger. All right, that worked out fucking awesome. Thank you, Jeff Lee. Diamond Cut Graphics, man. He's the man for custom graphics, and uh, yeah. So right now, I'm gonna mix up some of my epoxy resin, my specialty mask up the areas that I don't want epoxy resin and get this thing coated. Alright, so whatever your project is that you're using epoxy resin on, you want to make sure that it is pretty much level. You want to make sure that you are not going to be uh, too much on one angle, too far uh, to the left, too far to the right. So right now what I'm doing is got this little bubble gauge and I'm pretty good this way but I'm not so good this way so this needs to come up a little bit more in order to get that to be level so it's not much so if I fold a piece of paper here and pick this up somehow piece of paper under there not so much level yet so get a couple pieces of paper Let's see if that does the trick uh, still needs a little bit more so let me fold these two in half like this like this. Let's 
Oh man, just a little bit more. I need something a little bit thicker than paper. Let's see, what do I got over here? Uh, hmm, I've got nothing over here. Alright, so let's see here. This razor blade. Let's see if this razor blade is thick enough. Nope. Razor blade and paper. Let's see if that works. Still good that way. See what I want it to do is I don't want it to pull in the center over here. I want it to kind of even flow it out real nice. So these guys here are not going to do the trick. I need something like cardboard or a piece of plastic or something. What do I got here? Hmm. It has to be something that can be embedded into the epoxy resin. Let me do this. I'm going to cheat here. Okay, I'll just use this. I can get as much the height that I want and just remove what I don't need. I'm still not high enough. Double it up. getting there just not close what I've got underneath the headstock is a socket and another socket that is just a little bit smaller oh well, that's getting me close still good that way wasting a lot of paper here. I don't care, it's for a good cause. Good. That's it right there. Alright, so I got the epoxy made up. And we'll go ahead and start pouring this. And I'm going to have it come down the whole headstock. So what I want to do is pour it at the beginning here. That looks pretty good. Oh, missed a spot. Make sure this thing is covered entirely. Go ahead and lightly squeegee this out. Hit it with a torch. Where's my torch? Not the big torch. I'm going to do this again, huh? Yeah, these things are starting to become a little bit of a pain in the ass. Alright, so I'll let that sit for a few a couple minutes or so and then hit it again with the torch, but yeah, that's going to look pretty damn nice. Alright, so let's go.